All right, so today I've got a um, Chevy Traverse. This call came in as a key issue. Uh, we're going to check it out here. Let's see what we can figure out. It's always the plight of a tall tow truck driver. The first thing I usually end up doing is putting the seat back because otherwise I get squashed. We're going to troubleshoot this together. I have no idea of what's actually going on. There is a manual key that is above the visor. So let's check this out and see what we can figure out here. Uh, the key does not want to go into the tumbler at all. Oh, well. That might be one good reason, because the tip is broken off. Wiggle it just a little bit. Yeah, so the tip of this key has been broken off of the key, and um, oh, steering wheel's locked up, and we are going to have to get this thing into neutral so that I don't have to skate it. So let's have some fun, shall we? Now, as far as popping this thing into neutral, it is not one of the easiest or, I mean, it's just not simple. It's not simple to do. You have to pop this wood grain part off and then there's some other stuff and with all the stuff and all that and yeah, I'm just, I'm not going to do it. The main reason why I'm not going to do it though is not because it's an extremely difficult process on this particular model but because these tires are locked and on the curve there so the easier option than even getting it into neutral and trying to pull it because if you do get it into neutral and try and pull it it's gonna go that way um, the easier option is just to throw some skates on it as you saw I got my chain bridle the V shaped with the even pull so that way, wherever the cable goes, the vehicle's gonna follow as long as it's skated evenly and there's even tension, pull, distribution, whatever. You know what I'm trying to say. It's science and physics. And I failed math in college seven times. So anyways, um, that's the way I'm gonna do it today and uh, make it easy on myself in the process. And so through the magic of uh, time and uh, not pressing the button properly, the car is now on the bed. I simply stuck my skates under these front tires because those are the drive tires. The rear tire there flowed freely and 
what happens is, as long as you've got an even pull, which I do with my V chain, um, the and skates under the tires, the car will go in the direction of wherever your rope or cable, as we say, uh, is going to go. So. It went from way back there to way up here just fine, slid the whole way on the skates, and when we get it to the dealership, we're going to slide it down in the same manner. Um, that's a, a, a lot of times easier when you have tires that are turned out, because if you put the car in neutral, the vehicle is going to go the direction of the tires, and with it being turned out like this and having been back there, the vehicle would have ended up over here or running off the rails of the bed. So for the sake of control and keeping the vehicle going straight where I want it to be, you jam your skates up under the tires and it slides perfectly to wherever it needs to go. As always, you can like, share, and subscribe to the channel or don't. That's fine with me. I'm just enjoying making these videos. Uh, I'm going to strap this one down, get it to the dealership, and see what they can do for the broken key. And uh, until I make another one, I'll see you next time.